Hello again everyone, I'm Hayden Crawford from numerologist.com and I'm a wellness coach specialising in colour therapy. Now today I'm going to be helping you to navigate into the fifth dimension with ease and grace by recognising and understanding some of these 20 cosmic upgrades. So it's really important to remember that you are rapidly ascending towards the fifth dimension. And it can feel as if sometimes that you are catching the best waves as you quite literally are surfing the stellar gateway. New information is literally pouring down into your conscious awareness, which guides you into new heights of fulfillment, joy and inner peace, which can feel as if that you are really navigating this shift like a professional athlete. Although each wave can raise you to new heights, the days that follow can feel like a complete wipeout. Your energy levels can plummet to an all time low and self care is imperative for you to be able to stay on track. It's essential during this period that you rehydrate your body with lots of fresh water. Even better still, if they're infused with crystal frequencies. I would also highly recommend that you use beautiful colour frequencies to bathe in, such as the colour mirrors, because these will clear away any sort of energetic residue and garbage that's stuck to your energy bodies, but also clear it away from your cellular memory. Okay, so it's really important for you to grasp this concept, okay? Your DNA is being upgraded at the moment from an old outdated carbon structure to a new lighter, brighter crystalline one. But what are the signs that you are receiving these quantum enhancements to your biological makeup? Number one is mission calling. Now you might feel suddenly motivated or propelled to start living out your mission or to start your purpose work on the planet. You might feel like you're being drawn away from an old corporate lifestyle that's no longer serving a higher purpose. And you might feel that you wanna just really explore subjects that have never previously interested you before, such as UFOs or space or astronomy, astrology, even technology, mathematics. Sometimes you want to really look into the hidden mysteries of the earth, the buried hidden secrets, and also alchemy and quantum physics. You may also feel a compulsion to really want to save the planet or heal the environment or transform it in some way and break down some old outdated processes and procedures that are no longer working for you and you feel as if they're not working for other people as well. Number two is a sensitivity to nature, noise and energy. You may develop a new appreciation for the beauty in nature, or you could develop an obsession with the planets and the sky, the cosmos and the sun and the moon. It can also bring about a very strange interaction sometimes with the nature spirits or even with animals on the planet insects and birds, encounters that you would never have experienced before, just strangely coming to you. It can also give you an aversion to any animal food products and you can become extremely, extremely noise sensitive. Number three is flying and floating. Now, as you align with these lighter, brighter frequencies, you will literally feel as if your whole body is floating, as if suspended in midair, or you could feel as if you're flying gracefully above the clouds. You will also receive waves of blissful divine love washing through every cell and every pore within your body, and you will absolutely love this sensation and it can become quite addictive. Number four are healing upgrades. Now, you may receive these cosmic and energetic upgrades either via a lucid dream or through astral projection. A few weeks ago, I received a complete blood transfusion whilst in a lucid dream. Now, I know it sounds absolutely bonkers, but it was something that happened to me. So expect the unexpected. 
Number five are time and memory mutations. Now, as your vibration rises, you will notice that you have more incidents of deja vu, time loops, flashbacks, and dimensional shifts. It's also likely that there are changing perceptions of your timeline, and also other people may have very different memories of you than you can remember yourself. Number six is that you identify hidden agendas. Now politics becomes transparent and you're literally turned off by corrupt systems of control and can see the direct link between corporate politics, the pharmaceuticals and arms industry. You are also really dissuaded and repelled by mainstream media. You don't want to watch the news anymore, so you'll be turning that off. Number seven is that your breathing deepens. Now you will observe that your breathing becomes slower and deeper into your lower chakras, so into your base, your sacral and your solar plexus. And the reason being is that you're drawing chi up into your core. Now, because of this, you might appear younger, fresher, and more attractive. Well, just look at me. Number eight is code cracking. So as your awareness heightens, you'll become more and more aware of the synchronicities of life. You'll notice patterns of numbers in your everyday surroundings, things like the 1111 or the 333 or the 555. Although I have to say that these systems of numbers are becoming far more complicated, the more information that is being offered to us. We'll also become far more aware of our language of light and the nature spirits and the way messages are received through different non-verbal forms of communication. These will become reliable and accurate tools if you learn to interpret them properly. Number nine is that your chakras activate. As your energy centers are evolving, rebalancing and opening, they're on a journey really from their old familiar chakra colors to these beautiful new rainbow spinning vortices. During this process, we can experience some quite confrontational physical conditions such as low blood pressure, nausea, dizziness, aches and pains, even flu-like symptoms. It's important to remember never to fight it, just go with it. Number 10 is that like attracts like. So as your vibration becomes lighter, you will organically attract like-minded people to yourself that carry a similar frequency. And these people will actually help you on your mission or your purpose work. Now, because your energies become very, very heightened, you become very sensitive as well. So you might find that certain people drain your energies and you can't be around them for too long. Number 11 is culling of people. Now you might notice that some of your old friends or associates no longer have any interest in you or don't wanna be around you. Now don't take things personally. This is all part of the process, okay? You might find also that you wanna avoid crowds like the plague because they're just too overwhelming for you to be around. And you might also notice that, you know, that you might want to distance yourself as well from people that are no longer sort of serving you or following the same path as you. It's all part of this journey, okay? So don't beat yourself up about it. Just allow everything to kind of happen as it should and you'll be fine. Number 12 is movement and flexibility. You may feel compelled to activate your body to encourage energetic flow. You might be attracted to modalities such as Qigong or even Reiki or yoga because this will help you realign your body so it works more efficiently. You might feel as if you really wanna realign your hips and pelvis or your chest and your shoulders and, and have your back nice and straight. Lucky number 13 is that empathy increases. Your levels of empathy are literally going to go through the roof. They're going to skyrocket 
and so will your levels of compassion as well. So because of this, it's easy for you to put yourself in other people's shoes. You've got to protect yourself here. So self-care is imperative. So clearing and transmuting your energy bodies is absolutely essential. You can even put yourself in a beautiful purple bubble because that will give you the protection that you need as well. Number 14 is trusting in the flow. Having faith in the universe will become second nature to you and self-doubt will literally slip away into non-existence. Once you realise how loved and supported you truly are from the infinite, all of that dissolves into nothingness. Just remember, let it go. You deserve this. You deserve to be happy. So handing it over to the universal manager is an essential step in your own progression. Number 15 is rewire and reprogram. You consciously choose to disconnect from the matrix. Because your awareness is broadening, you are guided into tools which help you to release soul contracts, ancestral agreements and karmic debts so that you can truly be free. Number 16 is manifestation mastery. By consciously choosing to create your own reality, you can implement really simple techniques and tools such as beautiful soft mantras, deliberate intentions and meditation to help you become that magician that you just know that you were born to be. Number 17 are growing pains. As you release karmic toxins, your physical body will go through its own evolutionary process as well. And this can include aches and pains, nausea, shaking, shivering, waves of heat washing through your body, either during the day or at night time when you're sleeping. And the most commonly affected area is actually the head, the shoulders, the neck, going down through into the arms and into the back as well. It can be really painful. Now you also might experience like a, a sharp ringing sensation within the ears, like a high pitch frequency, like a tone that can almost give you symptoms of vertigo. Just remember to accept this and release it, okay? Don't get overwhelmed by it. Number 18 is facing your shadows. Your emotions can feel overwhelming from time to time and they can manifest as feelings of despair, depression, anxiety, or even feelings that you are totally out of control or restlessness that appears completely out of the blue. So in order for you to be able to ascend with ease and grace, we have to face our shadows. We can't not look at them. We've got to look directly at them and shine a light into them. This is really gonna help us to let go of them ultimately. Now shadow work is an important part of the manifestation process as well because it's almost impossible to manifest anything until you've dealt with those shadows. So if you're having difficulties identifying them and dealing with them, Seek out somebody like myself, a colour therapist that can guide you through that journey to releasing them with ease and grace. Number 19 is that oneness prevails. Your soul starts to recognise the interconnectedness of all living life forms and it wants to dismiss that old paradigm of duality. It never really existed in the first place. Oneness is such an essential part of our journey through to the fifth dimension because we ultimately need to reintegrate the body, mind and spirit so that we can release the old perception of who we thought we actually were. Number 20 are disrupted sleep patterns. Now, you may have observed that your sleep routine is completely off kilter at the moment. It might be completely different. So you might be grabbing a few hours here, a few hours there, sleeping more during the day and less at night, or you might have become completely nocturnal. Whatever is the case for you, just recognise that the boundaries are kind of blurring between dream state and reality. And the purpose being the whole notion, that construct of the human mind of you know, like a linear time frame is being broken down. And that's very, very important for us to understand and recognize that. 
As you continue along your own unique ascension journey, you will also keep on receiving these downloads, these, these brilliant sort of updates to your computer software, as it were. Now, this is really gonna help you to understand that your body is merely an empty, multi-dimensional interface whilst you, continue to have dialogue and interactions with much more enlightened beings. As you start recognizing that you are merely a being of light that is controlling and operating a three-dimensional human body, much like an avatar, you'll start to understand the integrations that are aimed really at making you work a lot more efficiently and so that you can receive clarity of information. We're moving into this fifth dimensional frequency where true divine love and compassion exists amongst everybody equally as, as a sign and a symbol of, of oneness. It's who we really are. Now, the three dimensional world can present its challenges and there's going to be a whole host of things thrown at you to try and lower your frequency. So stay away from people that don't make you feel good. Don't listen to the news. Keep away from toxic food substances and things that lower your frequency. It's time for you to really take control of the rudder of your own ship and welcome on board all those people who want to go along with you for the ride and really bring yourself into a new phase, a new world, where you can really start to feel joy again. Well, no one said it was gonna be easy, but it certainly is worth it. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.